there are technicalities around the bending of reinforcement for construction projects and you should be informed about it all in this video i'll be showing to you the basics of bar bending schedule looking into the diameter of reinforcement bars next the overlapping of bars and then the concrete covers followed by the spacings of reinforcement we'll look into the determination of the number of bars and also the determination of the number of stirrups and then you can apply this appropriately for your construction projects now the diameter of reinforcement there are various diameters of reinforcement used in construction we have the 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 mm 20 mm 25 mm 28 mm 32 mm and 40 mm reinforcement and we also have some reinforcement that are customized for particular projects and the standard length of uh, reinforcement for construction is usually 12 meters which is primarily for convenient transportation down to site and for um, customized length for particular schedule to be taken how to estimate the weight of a steel bar the weight of a steel bar is obtained using the relation w which is the weight is equals to d square that's the square of the diameter of the reinforcement over 162 measured in kilogram per meter for example for 12 mm bars the weight would be equals to 12 squared over 162 and that should give 0 0.889 kilogram per meter how do you estimate for tonnage of your reinforcement this is a product of the stock length of bar and the unit weight of steel so multiplying the stock length of bar by the unit weight of steel would give you the tonnage for example for 12 mm bars of total length 600 meters the tonnage would be 0 0.889 as earlier obtained multiplied by 600 meters which should give 533.3 kilogram so for proper measurements we would, we would say 550 kilogram now the overlapping to maintain or to retain the transmission of load from one steel to another overlapping is required in construction so how much overlapping should be allowed for construction for the reinforcement in construction for compression members the length should be equals to 40 d that is 40 multiplied by the diameter of reinforcement for tension members the length should be equals to 50 multiplied by the diameter of reinforcement to the concrete cover what is concrete cover the concrete cover is the minimum distance between the surface of embedded reinforcement and the outer surface of the concrete so why do we use a concrete cover it protects reinforcement against corrosion two it protects reinforcement against fire it protects reinforcement against every other environmental conditions and this cover being an allowance differs from members to members and for foundation members usually like col like um column bases your ground beams and every other foundation members it is usually in the range of 50 millimeters minimum cover for columns 40 millimeters minimum cover for slabs 20 millimeters minimum cover for beams 25 millimeters now to determine the reinforcement spacing the distance between 
two bars is what we call the spacing of reinforcement and that is determined as as um as suggested by the code of practice as the height or thickness of your aggregate plus five millimeters to obtain the number of bars the length is divided by the spacing the length of your member is divided by the spacing plus one which happens for the both side of your arrangement the number of stirrups this is obtained by dividing the actual length with by the spacing plus one and this gives the number of stirrups thank you for staying around i am joshua the designer in case you're new to my channel do well to subscribe to this channel like this video share with your friends and colleagues see you in the next video bye